What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So today we're continuing the series of easy steel path builds that anyone can do. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, but today we're finally making the Strofa setup here. And we're also going to be combining it with a frame that I think is really easy to get. If you want to get into the steel path and all that, this is a frame that can make it really simple for you. So this is a no ribbon, uh, you know, synergy loadout setup for the Strofa and Lavos. Now, technically, we'll be show, uh, showing a maxed out version of this with like Helminth, Arcanes, and all that. But you can do the basic version of this and clear the steel path with this combination of items. So, before we get into it, make sure you're subbed to the channel and all that stuff so you can keep up to date on the videos and get more content. Because there's over 500 videos on the channel and we're going to keep on going. So, the weapon we're talking about today is an actual melee. It's like a gun blade. So, it's like a melee, but also a gun. It's called the Strofa. Now, this thing has been a monster for a long time, and we're finally making a video on it, because I, I, I remembered, finally. So, you can technically buy it from the market, but this thing does come from the Granum Void. Uh, once you get the parts and all that, they'll drop from there. And it is a basically a shotgun melee. So, pretty low attack speed at one, uh, neutral attack speed at one, high crit chance at 30%, 2.4 multiplier, uh, two meter range, that's the range of the blades, so don't even worry about that, and 14% stash chance. This is basically a crit, uh, shotgun right here. You push the primary fire button, it's going like, to hit some enemies. You press the secondary fire, or the heavy attack button, it's going to be a big chunk of damage it blasts out. And it's mostly slash focused, but you don't really see that much slash. That's actually for the blade. The heavy attack is actually what you're looking at here. It's all impact damage, uh, and it hits really, really hard. So, with no ribbon, you can clear out the steel path like it's nothing, guys. This is with no ribbon in the gameplay footage you're seeing right here. Push the heavy attack button, delete that entire hallway. That can easily be you with the stuff we're showing in the video today. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, how are you going to mod this thing? We're going to show two different builds. One of them is the lazy person build. The other one is the I want to deal maximum damage uh, without even running every mod slot. We're also going to be talking about Lavos because I actually think Lavos is a great frame for people trying to get into the steel path. He's got really high base armor. He's got built-in heal with his first ability. And he can also stun enemies with his three... Uh, his four can technically nuke enemies down as well. Lavos is really, really good for the steel path. Not for endurance runs, really. You can technically go. I think we went like an hour in here. I died like twice. Mostly the Acolyte Cheese abilities. But he's he's really good for getting the steel path. He comes from Dimos. It's going to require some ranking up. But, you know, maybe maybe you even like Lavos. So, um, let's go over the build real quick for the Strofa. So, the one I'm going to be showing in the, in the gameplay footage right here. This doesn't even have every mod slot maxed out. Uh, so, you could definitely do a more, like, you know, a lower investment version of this. Um, it's going to be a 12x combo multiplier uh, heavy attack build. Now, the reason you don't usually run this. Usually you're running the, the Corrupt Charge mod, which is going to make it where, you know, you have initial combo, so you're always going to have, like, that 2x combo multiplier. But with Blood Rush uh, and some, some special combination of mods, like these heavy attack efficiency mods, it's actually going to be pretty good, where you can basically have a 220 combo hit, when you do a heavy attack, it would normally drain your entire combo meter, but you can actually get 90% combo efficiency, only draining like, you know, 20 hits. It's very easy to build combo multiplier back up, especially if you have a grouping uh, tool like the Proviscus Cernos and Snare from Korra, Helminth, and all that kind of stuff. So the mods here, Amalgam Organ Shatter, this can definitely just be normal Organ Shatter if you want to go for a lower investment build here, which would technically give you a little more crit damage, actually, but make your heavy attack a little bit slower. Um, you've got Blood Rush. This is kind of crucial for the build we're going for here, since it gives you critical chance per combo multiplier. We go up, up to 12. We've got Fever Strike. Now, this could be any Toxin mod. We just want to basically make it so we combine Toxin and Electric to make Corrosive damage. Uh, the mod that's not really negotiable on here is going to be Focus Energy. This will give you electric, Electrical damage and Heavy Attack Efficiency. You technically could run a different Heavy Attack Efficiency mod. I think the other one's called like Reflex Coil. Um, yeah, this one will give you heavy attack efficiency, but this is actually just like a really good bang for your buck, giving your efficiency here. It will cap out at 90, so you want to run the 40% from this, and you actually want to run the Zeneric Energy School. If you don't have Zeneric Energy School maxed out, just try to fit this uh, Reflex Coil mod in this slot and get to your 90%. Killing Blow will give you increased heavy attack speed and increase your heavy attack damage a lot. It's definitely worth running this, and since we have a pretty high investment build right here, we've got Sacrificial Pressure and Sacrificial Steel. This Now, the reason we have both these mods on here is because since it's a heavy attack build, the 275% increased heavy attack or increased crit chance damage or crit chance is going to be doubled on the heavy attack. So that's going to be like a ton of extra crit chance. And sacrificial pressure also increases the, the 
crit chance you get from this. You technically could take it off to put normal pressure point there, get more melee damage, but less crit chance. You lose about like, you know, 16%. So we're gonna go with that. Keep in mind, it's very hard to fit a full build on here without an Umber Forma. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind in the future. All right, so let's just quickly show what we're doing here. Um, and like I said, you can definitely do some other stuff too, but this is gonna be an easy way to do it. Put primary, uh, secondary dexterity on your uh, secondary if you want to. We'll give you extra combo duration, 7.5 for that. Doesn't even matter which primary and secondary you're using. Just put dexterity on both of them. Gives you like basically 15 extra seconds of combo duration. And your strofa will have 20 seconds total of combo duration. Now you technically could, if you want to go even further into damage, run Arcane Fury on critical hit. 180% increased melee damage for 18 seconds. Condition Overload does not seem to work on heavy attacks for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that's how it is. Uh, the build, we have a Lavos full video guide uh, like from earlier this year. But here's a general gist of it. You want high range, you want some power strength, and you want some health. Uh, natural talent is just a personal preference thing. You basically just want to have high strength and range, how I view it. Uh, that's going to make it so you can easily heal yourself with your first ability. If you have Koras and Snare uh, on here, it will group all enemies up, make it really easy to kill them all. And Transmutation Probe lets you get your cooldowns back really, really fast. Uh, now, you technically could put Efficiency on here as well to, you know, max it out and get lots of, you know... Uh, <laughs> cooldowns back, but that, that's really not worth it, honestly. I, I don't really go for that, personally. So, the play style we're going for here. You want to basically hit the enemies with your um, your light attacks, so the light attack button, and then once you have 12x light attacks, use the heavy attack button to release like a million damage red crit wave of death. Um, it's very reliable. Like, honestly, anyone can do this. Um, like I said, no ribbon in here. There's not, no, nothing like special, unique that I, only I can do because I have a ribbon. No, you can do exactly what I'm doing in this video right now yourself, as long as you get this stuff. Um, and honestly, like I'm just going even further. Like You don't need the arcanes. You don't need the combo efficiency arcanes. You don't need all that stuff. Um, you, you can just go for Strofa and Lavos. If you have Ensnare, that's even better. But um, here's the combo or heavy attack efficiency thing I was talking about. So Zenerek Energy School right here. We go to Zenerek. Uh, and it's, it's right, uh, this one, Inner Might. So... Not everyone really needs this, but it technically lets you save a mob space. Increases heavy attack efficiency by 60%. That combined with the 40% from focus energy lets you get that 90% max that you needed uh, to make it so you're never really losing your combo multiplier. So look at how fast we can build up combo here by grouping these guys up. Now you might ask why Lavos, just because Lavos has really high base armor and uh, health values. So one shot there, 48 hits. And on the steel path, the enemies are tanky enough that they can actually survive a couple hits. So. We stack it up pretty good there, and one button, and they're dead. So, very easy stuff. As you saw, two heavy attacks there were down 179 hits. We hardly lost anything. If we were not running the combo of uh, heavy attack efficiency mods right there, we would have actually just gone down to zero, and we would have not been dealing that kind of damage. So, just really easy stuff. You can sustain this for a long time. You technically could even condition overload proc them for viral procs, but that's just a little bit overkill for most situations. This strofa can two-shot the Acolyte. One shot if you get lucky. Um... So let's, let's quickly show some other stuff you can use here, too. By the way, look at me just blow myself up against that Acolyte. <laughs> That's because he had the mag bubble on me. You gotta look out for that, that uh, Acolyte right there. That's the one I always die to. He puts a mag bubble on you, and, <laughs> and you just blow yourself up. If you're using melee, you probably won't blow yourself up, but you gotta be careful about that guy. Um, so as far as the, um, the companion build, if you want to run a Volpophila, which is what I'd recommend with this, as the, it's basically a corrosive build. Very easy to like change, change it to radiation or something if you wanted to. But you'll get viral procs from the Panzer Volpa Phyla. We have another video of that on the channel as well if you want to check that out. Uh, but the general gist of it is basically you want to run viral quills and Panzer Devolution. That's all you really need because if the thing dies, it still uses the ability when it's dead. And it comes back to life, so whatever. Um, Hunter Recovery will let your companion heal you. So this thing attacks and heals you on Lavos with all that armor. Goes a pretty long way. You can technically run... Um, some other stuff on here too, but this is overall what we got right now. So, um, yeah, Panzer Volpa File, I got a video of it on the channel, how you can get it, comes from Dymos, basically. And like I said, Lavos, really high base, um, armor, 200 health, I mean, that goes up as you level up, so, you know, it, it scales pretty well. So, overall, guys, I'd recommend this to you. As far as weapon grades, uh, they're pretty good, actually. I'm gonna go with a, um, an S-tier Acolyte Clear, I mean, it might be A+, plus. But the mob clearing is is A. Um, a. A mob clear, I'd say. Maybe like A, Acolyte clear. Max dash potential, actually D. Maybe even F. Um, because, you know, it, 
you're not getting this. You're not using this for stats, Prox. Honestly, you're using this just to one shot everything. So um, overall score B, above average. Honestly, probably closer to A, an excellent weapon. Um, and I, I highly recommend to everyone. If, if you are trying to get in the steel path, use this. You don't even need to use Lavos. Use it like on your favorite frame, and you're good to go, guys. Strofa, favorite frame, good to go. Technically, doesn't have the best scaling. This thing will definitely fall off eventually because of the the, the slash, like lacking of slash. But you know. That's that's what I'm saying. It's not an endurance weapon. It's a easy clear the steel path weapon. Really good for clearing out hallways. I did so, say I was going to show a secondary build. Let's quickly show the other build, which is just the lazy build. It's it's less damage for sure, um, but you don't need to actually build up combo, and it will deal a lot less damage. But we'll just show it anyway, just because I said I would. All right. So we've got uh, corrupt charge level two because good to level three corrupt charge doesn't even give you another combo multiplier, so it's not really worth it. Um, and we've got Corrosive on here, same similar build, but instead of running Blood Rush, we're running just more crit damage and the Corrupt Charge. So it, it just lets you be lazy. It technically will be fine for normal content, but you'll definitely run into a couple problems on the Steel Path uh, if you go a little bit later. So no real need to build up combo here as we have the, the 2x multiplier at all times. So, you know, it did about half her health bar, but you know, it, it still works technically. If you just want maximum damage, now is the, the Panzer Volpa Phyla giving us Viral Procs there. See, like if you're running a Panzer Volpa Phyla, those Viral Procs increase your damage so much, you can probably get away with not running it. Not to mention that if you don't infuse off Lavos' two, you can get Viral Procs easily in the area, not even having to bother with a Panzer Volpa Phyla. So overall, guys, I'd say definitely get it. If you don't have the Strofa, you're definitely messing something up, and you should probably change that right now. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Hopefully you found the video helpful. There will be some long discussion videos. This video is a long time coming, I know. But I actually have some discussion videos for this week that uh, about some things that might not be handled properly with DE and this current update. So we'll have to definitely talk about that later this week. In the meantime, though, take it easy. Peace.